If it's made of better materials, has a better design, and a better value, you better believe it's a CK product. Introducing a flexible alternative to welding titanium and other alloys without high argon flow rates, TIG torch mounted shielding devices, or expensive fixturing. The patented CK Inflatable Purge Chamber. With the CK Inflatable Chamber, quality welds can be produced in an affordable, inert atmosphere. Benefits of this design include reduced manufacturing and setup costs, enhanced visibility through a special material that filters harmful UV rays from personal and surrounding areas, and faster fill rates than many competitive rigid chambers. Setup and operation of your CK Flexible Purge Chamber is made simple. The inflatable chamber is provided with the following components. Four neoprene gloves with mounting rings, one roll of tape, a gas valve with hoses, one compressed air driven Venturi vacuum assembly, one heat blanket, and a repair kit. A welding base the same size and shape as the base of the chamber bottom is required. This allows the chamber walls to drape over the sides of the welding table as a vacuum is drawn, enhancing the efficiency of the chamber. You will need to provide a base plate for the inner chamber floor to protect it from abrasion and heat. An appropriately thick stainless steel plate in the same size and shape as the chamber's inner base is recommended. Other items you will need prior to operation not included with the chamber are a CK torch package, consumables and ground lead, two ready sources of high purity shielding gas with flow meters, compressed air, if not available, an auxiliary vacuum source is required, and a method to determine weld gas purity inside the chamber, such as test weld coupons or an oxygen monitoring device. Other options include a CK amp track torch mounted amperage control or a foot pedal and the use of a mechanized CK cold wire feed system to eliminate stub loss and the use of short cut lengths of wire. Unpack the chamber and place it on a prepared tabletop. Open the chamber zipper and first install the heat blanket. Then carefully position the inner base plate on the heat blanket. Pierce a hole at the accessory port entrance of the chamber most convenient for the TIG torch. Now insert the TIG torch through the sleeve and into the chamber. The TIG torch front end parts may now be added. Use the tape provided to seal the port sleeve onto the torch cable. The ground cable, cold wire feed leads, and other accessories should also be installed through the accessory ports. The Y connection provided has two inlets, one for the argon gas and one for the vacuum process. Connect the hose coming from the Y labeled gas to a regulator flow meter, then connect the vacuum hose with the Venturi to the Y. The unit is now ready to have parts inserted for welding. Ensure there is sufficient high purity gas available in both the chamber supply bottle and TIG torch supply bottle to complete all welding operations. Failure to do so will result in the introduction of air during the bottle change requiring repurging of the chamber. Check to ensure that all gas lines to the chamber, welding machine, and regulator flow meter are tight. Make sure all accessory ports are sealed and always check the chamber and gloves after each use for damage. Load the components into the chamber. Be sure to include test coupons inside the chamber for quality weld sampling. Oxygen sensing equipment may also be used. Make sure to always purge the TIG torch leads prior to filling the chamber. Next, 
close the zipper three quarters of the way. Expel the majority of the air inside the chamber by gently pressing down around the parts. Then make sure the exhaust vent on top of the chamber and the zipper are closed. Also make sure the inner tubing ring is at the bottom of the draping and there are as few wrinkles throughout the chamber as possible. To complete the vacuum process, one of two methods can be used. Either by using the Venturi, in which compressed air is blown through the inlet, creating a vacuum, or the use of a vacuum pump, both of which are left on until most atmospheric gas has vacated the chamber. Turn on the gas supply to the chamber, making sure the vacuum valve is closed and the gas valve is open at the gas Y. To avoid turbulence, the shielding gas flow rate to the chamber should not exceed 35 cubic feet per hour. The shielding gas is introduced through the inner ring, enabling heavier argon shielding gas to push the atmospheric air towards the top exhaust valve. Open the exhaust valve on top of the chamber while the chamber is being filled. When the chamber is fully inflated, turn on the power and gas supply to the TIG torch. A suggested TIG torch flow rate would be 5 cubic feet per hour. A clear nozzle is recommended for enhanced visibility. A test weld on scrap material should be performed. If discoloration or contamination of the weld is present, the purge process should be continued. Products like the inflatable purge chamber and the patented large diameter gas saver front end designed for welding titanium outside a chamber are two more products from CK Worldwide to provide means to lower TIG welding labor and material costs. The manufacture of products designed to increase TIG welding efficiency, productivity and quality is always our mission at CK. For more information on the CK inflatable purge chamber, custom designs, large diameter gas saver front end, or other TIG torch products, please call or write.